They're at the post and the gate is rolling. When these county fair challenges began back in the mid-1980s, they raced for purses of $8,000 per division. By the mid-90s, that had tailed off to $5,000. Now it has come back up to the $10,000 level. They're an eighth of a mile from the start. Here they come. They're off and trotting. BP's Love goes out for the lead. Dance in Action is right there. Casa down toward the inside. Then Classy Kathy Chassis and Mamita. Cocktail Peanuts has made a break heading into the first turn. And there goes Dance in Action up to get the lead by two lengths from Casa in second. Classy Kathy Chassis in third. BP's Love is fourth. And moving up around Mamita who goes in fifth. Holly's Millennium is racing in the sixth position. Followed by Holly's Emulation who trots in seventh. Trot and Connection is next. Along way back then to the trailer who is cocktail peanuts as grandmother Pierce moves up a couple of spots from the back and gets over toward the rail. 29 and 3 at the time for the opening quarter. Dance in action leading Casa by a length down the back stretch to classy Kathy Chassis in third. BP's love then Mamita. Top five or single file against the rail and now there goes Holly's Millennium to the outside from sixth followed by Holly's emulation. Grandmother Pierce is next. Then Trotten connection and cocktail peanuts is last. At the half Half mile mark, dance in action, leading Casa. They were there in a minute three fifths. Headed to the far turn, Classy Kathy Chassis is third. Holly's Millennium is fourth on the outside, just over two lengths off the lead, followed by Holly's Emulation. Then BP's Love, Mamita, Grandmother Pierce is in the outer flow of traffic, still seven lengths off the lead, followed by Trotten Connection and Cocktail Peanuts is last. At the three quarters, they're being led by dance in action by nearly two. Casa second toward the inside. Holly's Millennium is still parked in third, then Classy Kathy Chassis and BP's Love off three quarters in 131 and three fifths. Dance in action, leading Casa by just a length. Holly's Millennium on the outside is still third, still two lengths away. Then Classy Kathy Chassis is fourth inside of BP's Love moving by the eighth pole. Dance in action with Casa coming on between horses. Holly's Millennium is still moving. Holly's Millennium has been out a long, long way and just keeps grinding and coming at the leaders. Casa is there. Mamita late move. Then BP's Love at the the line. Holly's Millennium gets up three parts of a length over Casa in second. Close for third, either BP's Love or Mamita for the third spot in 202 and 1. It's official. This filly by Croyd and Hanover scores win number five on the year. Brenda Watson making the trophy presentation. Doug Talley is the winning trainer. Doug, this filly's been a very consistent kind of filly. Seven times and ten starts in the top three coming into today's race. How about this afternoon, although I believe you did go off the favorite. Any concerns going into the race today, especially with the post position? Well, I didn't know she could stay out there all that long and hold on, but she proved she could, so maybe she did have business being in the big one. I don't know. Well, she did prove she certainly belonged here today, but looking down the road, there are still some major stakes left in Illinois. Going to give your uh, filly a whirl in Chicago maybe later this year. Yeah, she's those for all of them with the Lady Lynn Lincoln, so we're going to go in all the others and stay sound. All right, so there are some stakes races.